MacArthur and Wilson developed the theory of island biogeography. They wanted to determine the number of species that would be on an island. They said this was based off of distance from the mainland and size of the island. Small islands have a greater rate of extinction than larger islands because there is a greater probability of a chance event wiping out the whole population. Bigger islands have a greater number of species or species richness than smaller islands because they have more variety of habitats. Islands that are close to the mainland have a high rate of immigration from the mainland species to the island. The farther an island is away from the mainland, the less immigration of mainland species are on the island. Simberloff and Wilson tested this theory with the mangrove experiment. They sampled several small mangrove islands at different distances from a larger mangrove stand. They used scaffolding and fumigation tents to count the specific amount of species on each island. They found that islands closest to the mangrove stand had more species than islands at a greater distance. This supports the theory. To summarize island biogeography, let's look at a diagram. Here we have four islands of varying sizes and distances from the mainland. The islands with the greatest rate of immigration are going to be islands A and B because they are closest to the mainland. The islands with the greatest rate of extinction are going to be islands A and D because they are the smallest. The species richness is based off of area and distance from the mainland. Island B has the greatest species richness and Island D has the least species richness.